The deadline for DACA recipients to renew their status is now less than a week away. Many dreamers are rushing to make sure that they submit their applications by next Thursday. Meanwhile, some dreamers at ASU are facing another fight, keeping their in-state tuition. Team 12's Jessica Denova reports from Flagstaff. You invested in our education since the first day I stepped into my preschool class. After more than two decades of studying, training, working, and dreaming while undocumented in the United States, Cassandra Carrasco asking the Arizona Board of Regents to defend in-state tuition for Arizona's dreamers. Her hotel entrepreneurial goals lie in limbo. I'm only 22 years old, and I'm the youngest female manager at my work. The opportunity to put that competitive spirit to use, as Juan Carrasco says, sets the bar high in America. Those who work hard reap the rewards. Her co-dreamers at Northern Arizona University know all about success through hard work. I know what it's like to be to grow up and to be with very little. A pre-med student, Omar Gomez is no stranger to the dean's list. His humble beginnings guide his passion to help the homeless. He fears he'll have to stop if his DACA renewal is rejected. His driving privileges ripped away. Especially during the winter time and handing out clothing, I can't do that anymore. I can't lug around you know, uh, piles of clothing with me. Along with the void for medical professionals Gomez hopes to fill comes Arizona's need for educators. The end of DACA means no permission to teach for Kevin Alvarez. Even if there was no solution through Congress and I was able to renew my permit for the following two years, there's the question of will I continue to uh, to teach if I was offered a job. Three dreamers, each three years old when they came to this country. Their goal is to put their learning to use in limbo again, asking their university leaders to defend their dreams of giving back to America as lawmakers control their fate. Carrasco tells me she chose to pursue her college education here in Flagstaff, knowing the area tends to be more supportive of the undocumented community. Just last week, the Flagstaff City Council and this week, the Coconino County Board of Supervisors passed resolutions in support of DACA, asking for more permanent solutions for undocumented students. We're in Flagstaff, Jessica Denova, 12 News.